So what industry right now is getting affected and is very, very cheap? What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBot Solutions here with another video. And I haven't made one of these videos in a while just with my big focus on Tesla and my big focus on AMC. Wanted to provide you guys with a quick little update, but I wanted to talk about what industry is oversold and it's not that we need to buy in heavy right now, uh, but a lot of these stocks uh, offer good margins if they do recover. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please consider dropping a thumbs up. Uh, but quick little update on the day. I know it sucks to see um, AMC pulled on back today. No other way to put it. I have 3,400 shares right now. 34 freaking hundred shares. Uh -huh. And right now it is at $54 uh, after market hours. I lost $9,000. So one in Friday as an update, not just on my green days, but of course the red days. Um, I made a watch list and these are not just all the stocks uh, within the airline industry But one of the things that we always talk about is that it's the very simple things in life that people overcomplicate And it's so useful to have effective watch lists um, even for different industries, right? If you have a focus on tech if you have a focus on cannabis if you have a focus on airlines, right? Uh, these are just some of the few airlines that I wanted to talk about um, And let's go ahead and jump right to it So the most popular one is American Airlines, right? Ticker symbol AAL and you guys could see that based off of where it was before and where it's at right now. If we use this little trend line tool on the Webull platform, you can see that from $21 a share to a potential full recovery, not that it has to recover, uh, but a potential full recovery, that would offer 20% if it makes a recovery, like why are we not talking about this? Yes, you know, it's not as hyped up as AMC, uh, but if you're looking, if you're not much of an active or, or aggressive trader, uh, maybe this can be something that is more up your alley, right? If you're like, I use American Airlines, I like them, you can look into their financials, and if that's something that you, you know, uh, potentially see value in, then uh, why not, um, you know, look a little bit more into it and wait for confirmation of a reversal, see if we begin to actually indicate signs of an uptrend, and if we do, I would love to add more to my position size on American Airlines, right? So I can buy light, meaning that I can buy, you know, 10% of what I intend to invest in, right? So if I intend to invest $100,000 into American Airlines, going in with $5,000, right? And then adding more to it once we get proper confirmation, that can be the best of both worlds, right? So a uh, great example for American Airlines. Uh, another very popular one is uh, Southwest Airlines, which is LUV. And you can see that it has recently sold off. This one's more consistently descending and it hit highs of nearly $65 a share. So you can see that from the trend line tool, it looks like it's been making lower highs and lower lows. So it's not that we wanna buy it right now, it's just cheap, it's, it's a cheap stuff, right? So that's why we're talking about it. From where we're at right now to previous 180 day highs, 20% potential, two 20% stocks. Why have we not talked about this? This is Spirit Airlines, where are all my budget people budget airlines, I don't know what you wanna call it. I used to ride through Spirit all the time. Uh, now I use Frontier, Frontier is pretty cheap. Uh, but you guys can see right now that uh, Spirit is ticker symbol save and from where we're at as of right now, testing EMA line, uh, if it were to make a full recovery, 29%. Why are we not talking about this? Three stocks over 20%, just amazing, right? Yeah, it's not AMC, it's not a momentum stock, but why are we not talking about this, right? Why not, you know, set effective alerts, wait for confirmation. So I wanted to bring it up. Uh, Boeing, again, huge industry, right? Uh, when it comes down to uh, the airline industry. So a uh, huge focus in airlines, obviously. And from where we're at right now to previous 180 day highs, 14%, definitely not bad. Uh, previous resistance level right around 255, that's about 5%. So uh, this one hasn't sold off as aggressive. So just make sure you take that into consideration. Jets. How many of you guys like trading ETFs? ETFs are not for everyone, right? So make sure you take that into consideration. But Jets is an ETF that has a focus on the airline industry, not just airlines, but airline industry. And you can see that from where we're at as of right now, using this fine little trend line tool, you can see that if it does make a recovery, that's about 11%. If it makes a full recovery to 180 day highs, that's 17%, nearly. 20%, but we're not there yet, right? Again, lower highs and lower lows. It's not indicating signs of a reversal really right now. We're not seeing higher highs. We're not seeing an upward staircase pattern, nothing like that. So it's not that, again, I need to repeat this. It's not that we need to buy right now. It's that maybe we need to prepare. Create effective watch lists, set effective alerts, and formulate a plan, right? Where's your entry? Where are you gonna add more to your position? Where do you plan to sell? Where would you manage your risk, right? Not every trade goes according to plan or every investment goes according to plan, 
The last one that I wanna talk about is Alaska Airline. Uh, right now it's kinda of doing some weird things during the um, extended hours, uh, but it's been making these lower highs and lower lows as well, and with this nice little trend line tool, uh, again, at EMA line, so I wouldn't be surprised if it gets rejected, we could see that it offers a surprising 21% potential if it were to make a full recovery, as it doesn't have to, but it definitely can, right? Uh, it's something to work towards. Um, it's exciting. One of the things that I really want to make sure that I share with you guys is that, you know, just like this industry, there's a lot of other industries that are at overbought levels, kind of like tech, right? Uh, and then there's some industries that are at oversold levels. So what I like to do is to understand the oversold, understand the overbought, and just because something is overbought doesn't mean that it has to pull back anytime soon, right? It can continue to rally if that momentum and that demand is there. The same thing with oversold levels. You need to make sure that you understand this. It's great finding deals, but oversold does not mean that you buy right now. It can still continue to sell off. A lot of these offer 20%, right? If they continue to sell off, they might offer 30%. It pays to be patient in this market. Keep it simple, right? Allow that opportunity to present itself. Follow up with it, set effective alerts. What do these stocks need to do to earn your money to invest into them. I think that's a good way to put it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So um, again, wanted to provide you guys with a quick little update. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please consider dropping a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you guys haven't done so already. And we do run a free Facebook group, one of the largest ones out there. It has over 313,000 members all over the world. And that's that first link down below. If you guys wanna join one of my live trading sessions, I trade live every morning at Market Open. It's fun. And if you like the way that I break things down, then I think that you'll enjoy these live streams as well. That's that second link down below. So I really do appreciate you guys' time. I wish you guys nothing but the best. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.